My name is uh, Waylon Cubitt, a sergeant with the Oklahoma City Police Department. Uh, I work with a, a team of people with the FACT unit, which stands for Family Awareness and Community Teamwork. It's a uh, gang prevention program that targets uh, at-risk youth that, uh, based on their circumstances or their surroundings, might be more apt to join a gang than others. Man Up was our, uh, was our attempt to join with a faith-based organization with Youth for Christ uh, to address uh, some falsehoods that are given in the at-risk community about man, of what it means to be a man. Uh, so what we wanted to do was uh, find out where the kids were on their thinking about what, what it means to be a real man and then give them uh, some real definitions and some real substance on what it means to be a, a real man and, and, a, and a role model in our community. Some of the activities that we did during Man Up, of course we knew that, that uh, there's a lot of competition in males and so we tried to create a lot of energy with, uh, with some teamwork, and, uh, which was a skittle game where everybody runs to the middle uh, and each team had a different color because they had to spoon out with just uh, one spoon in one hand and race back and back and forth. Uh, real interesting, the kids never did anything like that. One of the other highlights of the games we played was a tie-tying game. Uh, out of the 20 kids that were invited to man up, only two of the kids that have ever uh, tied a tie. So what we did is we had a member of the community come in and teach them how to tie a tie as a group. And as a team, they would all race to the middle of the floor, of the gym floor, pick up ties, and one at a time, tie the ties on themselves and hang it on their partner. And the team that uh, came back with the most correctly tied ties uh, won the event. Uh, consequently, every, every guy there got a brand new shirt and a brand new tie, which they wore to breakfast the next morning, uh, tied themselves in a properly tied knot. So uh, uh, they could not leave that, that event uh, not knowing how to tie a tie. One of the things that we knew is that, uh, that uh, our, our community sometimes dictates or tries to dictate the way our kids dress. But to be a real man, you can know when is the appropriate time to dress uh, properly and when to wear a tie. And so these, these kids that uh, attended Man Up now know when they need to wear a tie and how to do so when called to do so. I knew that when we asked the kids what it means to be a, a man, I, I knew that they would all say, handle my responsibilities. The fact of the matter is, what does that mean? What is your responsibility as a man? So what we wanted to do at Man Up is try to provide the framework for what those responsibilities are. Uh, and what I was happy to see is that as we went through the different workshops and the different uh, topics that we talked about about being a real man, we learned that they were able to actually define what a responsibility of a man is. First, at first I felt like being a man was just owning up to a responsibility. But being a man is more than just a responsibility. It's actions, the way you lead, the way you help others, the way you care for someone more than you care for yourself. It's like, you know, integrity, always doing the right thing when no one's not looking. That's part of being a man. Man up means a total different, it's a total different aspect than what I first thought it was. Man up is doing and being reliable, and being able to stand up and take whatever action comes behind what choice and consequence you do. That's what man is up means to me now. Manning up now means that it's more than just handling your responsibility. It's really knowing what you're doing and making better decisions and learning from your mistakes and uh, not seeing what other people have and trying to chase that but do what's right and make the right decisions. We learned that they were able to actually define what a responsibility of a man is. They were actually, they knew it's the responsibility to provide for your family in a positive way. Overall, of all the things that we've done, uh, the participation that we had from the various faith-based organizations, the kids' participation, the things that we were able to provide for them throughout the event, is probably one of the most successful events that uh, we've ever been a part of.